yeah, I'm going to defend Cam Newton. Because uh, this is Kimberly Martin trick that's on ESPN, all dolled up, um, looking like a female version of Jessica Rabbit, talking trash about a man who was a college champion, NFL MVP, runner-up in the Super Bowl. Yeah. Because Cam Newton came out and said there's a difference between game managers and game decision makers. And he basically called out Brock Purdy, Tugaloa, Jared Goff, and Dak Prescott. Well, let's look at these individuals, shall we? Because Cam Newton got a better resume than all those guys. He's a league MVP, better than all those guys. See, Dak Prescott plays for Dallas Cowboys, but... We still don't know what's going to happen with him, but we ain't really seen the results. So he ain't never been on Cam Newton's level. Brock Purdy looks great, but really, he's got McCaffrey, who's the baddest white boy running back going in a long time. And then you got Debo. You got Tua. And Tua is aided and abated by Tyreek Hill. So it's kind of blurry with that. And then you got Jared Goff, who... Did get to a Super Bowls and run her up, but his Super Bowl performance was pretty bad. That's why he got traded for Matthew Stafford to Detroit. So point being, none of those guys right now can hold Cam Newton's feather hat and the feather in his hat. But this is the comical thing about it. She gets on here in clowns Cam's outfit and then this is him and says, Well, I can be in the backup. Well, even Dak Prescott tell you the racist NFL plantation, bigger owners don't want Cam in the league. They try to use the jabby jab was a reason. And you know good and well he's better than Mac Jones sitting on his back and Mac Jones is standing up right. How has that turned on New England without him? How do the Patriots look right about now? See, she needs to go ahead and sit down. Well, Jessica Rabin needs to go sit her behind down and have three seats down. But this is what they want. They want a Malika Andrews Jr. Whopper to come up there and bash brothers. That's what they want. Cam is a decorated man. Should be a Hall of Famer. Got a resume better than those four guys. And I look, the only one on there that Dak might get to another level. Purdy could get to another level. Tua has got Tyreek Hill. Tyreek Hill is already the best receiver going, and Tyreek Hill's a skip. So it's hard. And Jerry Goff, he's a man that's got to prove something. So how are you going to have that argument? How are you? Really? Really? Please hit like, subscribe, welcome, thoughts, comments, and I do respond. Thank you. Wash your hands. Keep in mind, clear, watch out for another shit. If you like, I'm on peace.